Something seems strange about my Glock today. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It just, like, grew. I don't know what this thing is. Wait. <gasps> it's my high cap bag! Let's dig into this review. Alright guys, Toadzilla64 back with the CYMA G18 Glock Mag. This is by Tokyo Marui. My pistol is a CYMA. It's perfectly compatible. There's a little bit of gap you can see, but it's not a big deal. And it fits very securely. There's very minimal wobbling. I don't see this thing breaking in the field. As you can see, it's very cumbersome. If you want to double hand it now, you can just be like, boom, 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 even though it has no recoil. This is definitely an interesting piece by anyone's standards. And also, I got two. Here is the box. Nothing special. Any airsoft mag looks like this when it's packaged. Just pull the tabs back. This one actually was stapled. The other one wasn't. It just slid open. Inside, you're going to get your standard little speed loading tool. It helps fill the BBs faster. You'd use a standard speed loader, plunger style. And here's the mag again. Complete plastic. Upsetting there. But it is by Tokyo Marui, so it's a lot higher quality than the CYMA one. And also, this mag and this gun, this looks awesome. You have to admit it. If you're if you're a if you're a, if you're anyone that likes a Glock, this is definitely awesome looking. The only thing that could beat this is a um, gas blowback Glock if you find a good one that's still around, like KWAs if you can find them. But anyways, yeah, that is just awesome looking. This thing, very nice. It's all plastic, but it's still a great piece. I'd highly recommend this mag to anybody over the standard 30 round mag. There's a size comparison. The top, same size, same upper lip, but as you can tell, definitely a lot longer. This is a good mag. It's nice, it's metal, it's heavy duty, it's not going to break on you. It's not going anywhere. This plastic mag. Very nice, high quality. It's not cheap plastic. It definitely feels nice. Tokyo Marui did a good job with their mag. All right, this is Toadzilla 64. We're gonna go outside and shoot this thing. All right, here it is with the holder. Just an interesting look. Got your backup handle now. You can. But usually it'll just be like this. This is just for the interestingness. It's a CQB. It's pretty nice. Two mags ain't gonna be too bad. I like it. It feels comfortable sometimes. Just depends what you're doing. There you go. Right down the middle. This gun works great for hip fire. Yeah. But yeah. With the holder, it looks very interesting. As you can see. These high caps are amazing. All right, let's get to the shooting test. All right, <laughs> new viewing angle, obviously. It's very cold, and this is the only place I would actually be able to set up at. We're gonna do a couple rounds of semi-auto, and we're gonna do a couple full auto, and then I'll finish it up in the thoughts. And they're out. Yeah, these definitely things will light out a lot of firepower really fast, and they last a while. 
I like these mags. Alright, let's get back inside, look at the can, and finish up this review. We're back. That was interesting. Very awesome. These guns. Kimboed with high cap 100 round mags. Oh, it's, it just feels nice. If you guys have some two CYMA Glocks or two of any type of pistol and you can get a high capacity magazine, do it. Definitely. This shoots full auto. These things are awesome. Definitely a high quality mag. I highly recommend these. I enjoy them a lot. I mean, what doesn't look sweet about that? Plus, you have one pistol. Two mags. Two pistols. Uh, 200 rounds. 200 rounds plus you get two mag, one mag with each gun. So you got 260 rounds to shoot. That's more than enough to get one guy. That's really what you need. These are my fallback AEPs, definitely now. I could see these primary in some sort of a CQB game. The only problem with these would, would definitely be the reloading time. That's by far the problem. But, I mean, if you find time between them, you can definitely do it. These guns are definitely worth it. These mags I got for $28 on the website I'll link to you guys. Because I cannot remember the name for the god of me. You shop Hobby Asia or something like that. You can find it on Google. I'll put a link in the video information just to kind of throw it together. But yeah, this thing is awesome. Toadzilla 64. Damage to the can. 200 rounds tore that thing up. Even the low powered shit can do something like that. This is Toadzilla 64. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.